Bloody hell, lads. Believe it or not, but Croatia have only gone and done it again. They're through to the UEFA Nations League final after beating Netherlands 4-2 in their own backyard. And I've got to say, this lot are becoming the real-life Rocky as far as an underdog story is concerned. As I've mentioned in previous videos, they only gained independence in 1991, got admitted to the United Nations in 1992, joined NATO in 2009, and became a part of the European Union as late as 2013. Furthermore, they've got a population of a mere 3.9 million people. For reference, the city of London itself itself has 9 million residents, and I'm sure you can do the math. Given they finished second and third respectively in the previous two editions of the World Cup despite being such a small nation, one can only hope they go a step further this time and have some silverware to show for all the good work they've done in these last half a dozen years. Moving on to the game itself, Croatia were without star defender Josko Guardiol, who missed out through injury, while Netherlands were as close to full strength as possible with the likes of Van Dijk, Frankie de Jong and Cody Gapko all among the starting 11. As is normally the case, Luka Modric stole the show for Croatia in the middle of the park yet again, and was supported brilliantly well by Brozovic and Kovacic, which is a midfield three that would give any side in the world a game, even if the opposition appeared to be superior on paper. The reason I've labeled them as warriors in the title of this video, aside from the fact that they've beaten Argentina, England and Brazil in crunch knockout ties, is that they found themselves 1-0 down in Rotterdam in what was a hostile atmosphere. Thereafter, they fought their way back to take the lead, conceded an equalizer in the final minute of stoppage time, but then still found a way to rally their way back for a 4-2 victory with Petkovic making an instant impact off the bench, just like he did in Qatar. They actually thought they'd scored a fifth right at the very death too, but it was narrowly ruled out for offside. The craziest part of all this is, it was hardly backs against the wall either. In fact, it was quite the opposite. Croatia had an expected goals ratio of 3.38 to Netherlands' 1.62. When you couple that with the fact they also had 54% possession against the side playing at home, you have to say they were thoroughly deserved victors. I'm not going to make this video any longer than it needs to be, but did want to highlight Croatia's achievements because Christ almighty, they're not getting nearly as much credit as they deserve in the public eye, at least as far as the British media are concerned. As always, I'd love to hear your thoughts down below and look forward to watching the final in a few days' this time. Take care and I'll catch you in the next one, folks. Peace.